Hey everyone, welcome back to my uh, Graphlex build vlog and today we're progressing beautifully with a new uh, reception of my uh, parts needed for the Graphlex build. Now today I got my stuff from the mail from the Custom Saber shop. These were sent, you know, with a standard USPS uh, postage. They were really fast and they were very... Uh, they were very good in terms of service. It was a very great pleasure doing business with them. Uh, the, ca uh, the custom saber shop are, you know, like the best when it comes to, you know, random or custom saber stuff. You know, if you want to build a lightsaber from scratch, this is the place to go because they have all the necessary items that you need to build this thing. So... What I got today was the next step in my Graflex build. Without these, there is no Graflex. So last time I got the chassis parts, I ordered the Graflex kit and a battery separately. Now, why did I order the battery separately? Uh, since I live in Greece, which is Europe, uh, I did not, I could not order a battery from the Custom Saber shop because shipping internationally is prohibited in terms of lithium ion batteries so that's a problem for me but they were kind enough to um, commend one of their co-workers or one of their you know I don't know I wouldn't call them a co-worker the correct word is someone that they do business with someone who uh, works with them so um, I don't know what the word is I'm stuck but I do know that they led me to JQ Sabres which is in the United Kingdom and I could get a battery within Europe thanks to them a rechargeable lithium ion battery um, so I ordered that today and it's possibly going to be here within the end of this week maybe next week I'm not in a hurry so the kit is on its way so the Graflex uh, parts that I need are slowly uh, making their way home and I can start this build uh, from the beginning so I ordered these on May 17th like I said before they came on the 31st I was out of town so I couldn't get them on the 31st which was a Wednesday uh, because I was graduating I finally got my degree and uh, I got them on Monday the 4th which is today or regarding you know when you're watching this so it's on the 4th of June. So, what did I get today in the mail from the Custom Saber shop? Well, what I could. So, basically, I'm going to start from the, you know, from uh, back to front. Uh, these are two uh, resistors, 1 ohm, 2 watt resistors. Uh, they're basically going to be resisting the dyes, the blue and the royal blue dyes, so that, you know, my LED doesn't suddenly go go dark because uh, the continuous power flow uh, could over, uh, I don't know, overheat. I'm really not good with physics, but basically if I don't use a resistor on both of my dies, uh, the dies will die. So basically that's a how-to for dummies. When it comes to physics, I'm really not that good. I am a rookie, but I want to prove that I can build a lightsaber because I have the will to do so. Next are two 30-second uh, uh, set screws that I got. They are going to be acting as retention screws, as you have imagined. And if you didn't, I will explain what they'll do. If I take my uh, chassis that I had uh, showed off last time, I'm going to be needing two set screws. One to retain the chassis to the, um, to the graphics itself so that the electronics inside don't just shake about. And the second set screw is going to work as an LED retention screw, which is basically gonna hold on the heat sink module so that it doesn't shake in and out of the, um, of the lightsaber so um, it doesn't risk straining any wires and stuff. But if you do not want to use a second set screw, I don't know if it's gonna work, but off the top of my head, uh, if you, if you're a rookie and you don't want to drill a, um, a 832nd screw uh, and you're afraid that you might screw it up, <laughs> pun intended, uh, you could also use a blade plug like I did, not only for decorative purposes, but I'm going to use the blade plug because it already has a retention screw 
uh, to hold the blade and the blade plug down on the Graphlex itself. So the whole premise is that I use a blade plug to hold the LED module against each other so it will be sturdy enough so that it doesn't um, move and wiggle so I don't risk um, wearing down the LED module. Next is the recharge port, 2.1 millimeters in diameter. This goes at the back of the chassis and it's going to be underneath the Nano Biscotti, which you can see here. And it's going to be having that 3D printed kill key that I have with the chassis, it comes with the chassis. So basically it's going to help me not, you know, waste power from the battery to the board and it's going to be used when you know I need it to be used and uh, it's a two-in-one design I don't lose the kill key I don't lose any extra energy from the board so yeah it's it's gonna work that way most lightsaber designs work with these kind of kill keys sorry recharge ports and yeah so that's that now What's next is the Nano Biscotti version 4. And it is tiny, very, very small. If my camera will focus, there we go. So basically the Nano Biscotti, I'm holding it upside down. So you've got plus, negative, flash on clash, uh, activation, minus, activation, plus, and the two speakers. I don't know if I said that in the proper order, but basically that's what we're gonna be doing. Now, a long time ago, the flash and clash was not on the board. You had to get a separate flash and clash module or board itself. And um, basically, my flash and clash will be white, as you can see on this um, tri -Cree star. It's got a modified base. It's going to focus sometime today. And... There we go, please, pretty please. Okay, I think it's trying to do its best. So anyway, the yellow color, which is on the top left or right, I'm not sure what you guys are seeing, is the white dye. And the other two are royal blue and blue. So I'm going to mix royal blue and blue together and the white dye is going to act as my flash on clash. That is why I did not bring a third resistor because I am not going to be using that white dye as much. It's only going to go off on the clash when the Nano Biscotti registers the impact sounds. Speaking of sounds, you're going to need a speaker. And I decided to go with a premium speaker because it's got a very slim design which is very beneficial for my uh, chassis and it's going to be able to fit my electronics in just fine. Now if I turn it around, it has the plus and negative already pre-tinned and if my camera focuses, you can see that properly. Not today. Come on. Do it for the fans. There we go. So it's been pre-tinned left and right. So you can never go wrong with a premium speaker, 28 millimeters. And uh, last but not least is the heatsink module itself, which is composed of four very Im important components. So this is the heatsink tube where the copper base is going to, oops, sorry, that was not supposed to happen. We can put that on the gag reel bloopers. Anyway, so as you can see, the copper base, which I'm going to have to clean with some um, alcohol, is going to act as a, well, heat sink because it's supposed to uh, conduct the heat. Uh, it's supposed to actually help the star from overheating and aluminum apparently has that property. So when I take my Tricre, my star which has on the back, um, they were kind enough to write the dies for me so that I don't mix them up. So I'm gonna put this together just for show and tell right now. 
I got myself some thermal paste, which is going to go and it's going to basically act as a medium between the star and the aluminum uh, base. So this is going to stick together and my wires are going to go through this central hole. And when I'm done, I'm going to take this optic holder, which is going to help uh, retract or refract the light. I really do not remember my physics. So basically this is going to help disperse the light even better. I guess that I got the right uh, word for it. And the whole thing is going to be housed by the heatsink tube. So you thread the whole thing together and it makes for a very nice steady design. So you're not gonna have to glue your uh, optics together. You're not gonna need some excess glue. All you're gonna need is some uh, thermal paste or you could use a thermal pad, which you can also buy from the Custom Saber shop, but I decided to go with thermal paste because why not? And this is basically what it's gonna look like when it's assembled. And over here, the wires are gonna be coming out and it's going to be the first thing that's gonna be protruding from our chassis. And then, like I said before, blade plug, illumination, and retention, two in one. So this blade plug looks cool. I really like its design. Uh, it looks so graphics-ish, and it has a very cool feel to it. Uh, when I first saw it, I got excited, and I cannot wait to get my uh, graphics kit. So basically, this is what I got in the mail. Now, I didn't talk about the SD card, which comes with the Nano Biscotti. Uh, it comes preloaded with uh, two fonts, I guess, dark meat, light meat, and now the version four comes with gray meat for, you know, gray Jedi sound effects. So the SD card, which you should not, and, I, uh, and I'm gonna be very emphatic on this one, you should not do any soldering or electric works generally uh, when you've got the card loaded onto the board. You do not want to do that. It could uh, short the bird it, board, sorry, it could just, it could ruin your uh, SD card, it could ruin your board, and you do not want that to happen. So when you're doing some uh, soldering, you want to keep the uh, board empty, unloaded, and you should be very careful. Since I'm a rookie, I want to be very careful because I'm not that skilled at soldering myself. I still have to own my skills. The holes are very small and I have to be very careful uh, not to screw this up. I've only got one shot at this, so yeah. But I'm gonna make it, I think I'm gonna pull through just fine. And if I screw it up, hey, I can get myself another board or I don't know what. Uh, thing is, we're waiting for the Graflex uh, battery to come, the JQ battery, JQ Saber from the United Kingdom to come, and the Graflex hilt itself. Now, I'm not so worried about the blade. I'm gonna be showing that off when I'm done with the hilt. So, yeah, the blade can come last. It's not a priority right now. So that's what I got in the mail today. This is the updated Graflex 2.5 build log. So if you're building a Graflex yourself and you want to build one, uh, the best thing you can do right now is, uh, well, take, well, take notes, I guess. <laughs> So this is what you're gonna be needing. Or you could use a different die for your LED. You could use a different speaker, a different soundboard. Uh, it's all up to you. So it's all a matter of personal preference really, but I'm just going to play safe. And that's what I'm gonna go for. So that's all I've got today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you find it illuminating. I hope it helps you. and encourages you if you're making your build for the first time as well, like myself. And next time I'm going to be posting, I'm going to be showing off the battery with the Graflex kill, uh, sorry, hilt kit. Anyway, so yeah, dyslexia at its finest. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you next time with the hilt, with the official review of it. So um, I'm very happy with the Custom Saber shop. 
Uh, I really like their um, their designs, their products, and I want to see how it pans out, this whole build, how it will pan out in the future. So thank you for watching. Uh, comment below if you have any questions or if you want to discuss a build or something. And um, if you like this, please like. And if you want to keep updated with my latest work, subscribe. So I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye and thank you for watching.